Dash Trader Pro Introduction, Part 1, Main Screen Layout, brought to you by Bearable Traders, learning community of serious traders. Once you launch Dash Trader Pro, you will be at the login screen. Enter your username and password provided by your broker or Bearable Traders for simulation packages. Check Remember ID and Password if you would like this information saved every time you start up the application. When logging in, Dash Trader Pro will load the default layout. For this exercise, we're going to start with a clean desktop and load the windows manually to build our layout. To clear desktop, go to File and click Clear Desktop. Now let's add the first window by clicking Trade and then Accounts. Note that all windows can be resized and moved to any position of your liking. The account windows will show you information such as equity, buying power, realized and unrealized PL. Next, click on Trade and then Positions. The Positions window will give you visibility to any open positions you have in the market. It will show the ticker, number of shares, average cost, realized and unrealized PL for each position. The following window is the orders window. Click on trade and then orders. The orders window will show you any orders waiting to be filled by the market or pending to be executed if your triggers are met. The following window is trades. Add by clicking trade and then trades. Here you will find all the trades that have been filled. It will include exact time and price you were filled at. For the next window, click on trade and then Closed Positions PL. This window reflects the profit and loss for all your closed positions. It will list every ticker traded with the PL for long and short positions for each ticker separately. Now let's add our first chart window by clicking Quotes and then Charts. For this layout, we will have two charts linked to view different time frames for the same ticker. Repeat the process to add the second chart, click Quotes and then Charts. Next, we're going to add the montage. Click on Trade and then Montage. The montage gives you visibility to level one and level two information. And most importantly, it is where you will be executing your orders. Following window is the Time and Sales window. Click on Quotes, then Time and Sales. This will reflect the trading activity for the ticker selected, showing price, share volume, and time for each trade. The next window is the main watch list. Click Quotes, scroll down to Market Viewer, then click Viewer 6. In this window, you can add the tickers you have selected as your watch list for each day. Now let's add the Market View window. Click on Quotes, scroll down to the Market Viewer, then click Market View. The Market View window has some of the overall market indicators. You can add and remove based on what you would like to monitor. The next window is the top list. Click on quotes, then top list. The top list scans for stocks like NASDAQ most active and NASDAQ most gains, which could be some stocks with good opportunity to trade. Last window is our market clock. Click on tools, then market clock. Last step is to link the windows to the montage. Right click and hold the anchor symbol, then drag the cursor to the body of the window and release the hold. Link all the windows you want to this specific montage by repeating this step. Now that you have created your layout, it is time to save it for future use. Click File, then Save Desktop. Any layout you save as default in your Dash Trader Pro folder will be the layout that will load each time you open your Dash Trader Pro. Click Save, and then Yes to replace the file to make this your default layout. To open any other layouts that you have downloaded or saved under a different name, click File, Open Desktop, locate the Layout DSK file, click Open to load the file. To change the overall color themes for Dash Trader Pro, click Setup, then Other Configuration. Next to Theme, select between Default, Dark, or Blue. Select your preference and click OK. Every window is fully customizable by right-clicking in the body of the window and selecting Config. This will bring up the configuration window where you can select preferable font and colors. In this window, you can also choose what information you want the window to display by moving it from left column 
over to the right column, or vice versa to remove. Select the columns and click the arrows accordingly to make the change. Once done, click Commit to apply the changes. Once you are familiar with the names of each window, you can hide the title bar to gain additional screen space. Right click on the title bar to bring up the frame window configuration screen. Then check off no title bar. Click commit to apply the changes. You can do this step to all the windows for even more screen space on the entire desktop layout. To bring back the title bar, simply right click on the border of the window and uncheck no title bar. Make sure to save your layout anytime you make changes you want to keep. To check your network delay, double click the two connector symbols at the bottom right corner. This will bring up the network traffic status window. Scroll all the way to the right to check your network delay. Under 200 MS is the recommended delay for day trading. Anything above 200 MS can signify a slower than normal internet connection to NASDAQ servers. This completes part one of our Dash Trader Pro introduction. Check out other parts of this video series at BearBootTraders.com.